you know, the, it, it, all the ways that that looks and the op opportunities that come up. And my journey is really similar where I feel like the deeper I've gone on that journey, the more rewarding my work with the children because the more they seem to thrive. Yeah. In your presence. Yeah, it is a big responsibility, and especially if they're not my own children. You know, I feel even more responsible and I really give it 110%. And, you know, everywhere I go, people think I'm the mom or, you know, just because I'm there present with them. And I notice even going to a park, you know, there will be so many parents on their phone, for example, and the ch their children will come to me and talk to me because they can feel that I will respond and I will be there for them. You know, uh, that's what they're seeking. They, they seek recognition and you know, um, that communication where some parents, unfortunately, these days don't give it to them because yeah. of the technology world. And that's what I love about your network as well. And it's uh, natural parenting, natural nannying, because, um, you know, the children I look after, we don't do TV during the day. We don't do iPads during the day. There's no screen time. And that's so much more calmer and present. And they're always looking forward to go to parks and on any adventures you know and even though it took a while for the boy for example to jump in the puddles because uh, <laughs> didn't want to quite get dirty and muddy you know some kids <laughs> like to stay more clean and um it was kind of like yes you can do that it's okay just acknowledging and being that example and doing it myself and yeah you know, just first time seeing that look like oh really it's okay and i know i love that look like, like you're really <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yeah that's it's such a reflection, you know, and even me growing up in a clean environment, in a clean apartment with a clean mom, it was like, no, you can't jump in puddles, you can't do this. And mm -hmm. no, it's okay. It's very actually important, in my opinion, um, for immunity. So, you know, being exposed to germs outside is okay. And um, some people are unfortunately scared of that. But to me, that's, you know, that's part of this life. Like, germs are everywhere so it's okay to get muddy and dirty and messy and you know we come home we wash hands before we eat and uh and they're actually happy to do it i'm looking yeah. after amazing children when they actually grew into individuals you know at their ages where they're getting themselves ready they're like i'm still picking things around the house while they're waiting in the car their teeth are brushed you know their shoes are on and they're like come on Sharka, let's go and it's like wow this is you know my doing like you know it's that yeah. gentle kind approach to um encourage them to be more independent and um it's amazing to see that yeah and um also another thing i was gonna share um like um when we for example do arts and crafts or coloring and when the children say um but you're not a teacher i go well, I am. I'm your life teacher, your everyday teacher. Like you're teaching me as well as I'm teaching you. You know, yes. even our communication when we're talking, we're learning every time, every minute from each other. So now they're like, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> it took them a while to understand because they see that figure teacher at school. Yes. You know, they go to school thinking that's the teacher, that's the label, and I'm nanny or babysitter. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to teach them that that's not just who I am, that, you know, I'm everything. And I also um, feel part of the family, very accepted, like, you know, going for interview and feeling that that's the right match, like a first family, I, I, you know, I went for interview with and was like, yeah, this is going to be amazing. And it's, yeah, the best experience ever the last three years or two and a half years I've been there when I'm actually waking up happy, looking forward to going to work and mm -hmm. being welcomed, you know, and acknowledged acknowledged and um yeah clicking with the parents as well and having really good communication about everything yeah and yeah just working together as a team yeah yes because that's when everyone benefits the most um yeah, sure. absolutely yeah and i wanted to touch on something you mentioned earlier about um like you know you wash your hands before you eat the children happy to do these things and i find what my experience has been when I allow the space for the me for them to get messy, I allow myself to be led by what they need to do. Then they are responsive when we make requests because they're like, oh, you get me, like you get what I need. And they respond when we do make those requests to do things like washing our hands, brushing our teeth. And it's like, I remember my first experience of that when I had that shift with 
the children I, I was with and I was like, oh, this is actually really simple. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it is. It can be very simple. Yeah, but it takes courage to move into that space of allowing yourself to be led by the children because you're not in control yeah. of the situation like before. And it takes time. It takes that patience. And what I have noticed, me being the example, the role model. So I brought my toothbrush and toothpaste to work. I leave it there on the sink. Hopefully that's okay. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I pack it up for the days I go home. But, uh, you know, yeah. I go like, oh, let's all go brush teeth together. And then I do it and then they copy me or the little one especially, you know. Um, he does exact moves I do and he's watching me in the mirror. And, you know, so, and I explain to him why we do it this way and that way. And, uh, and you know, it kind of became the way that sometimes they're asking me to go brush the teeth with them, you know, like, oh, we, we have this smoothie, you know, because they are used to certain, certain um, things, like they know what happens. So Shaka comes, it's Shaka makes a smoothie, Shaka um, tells them to brush teeth, Shaka picks water bottle, you know, that's what happens, then we have time to play and, you know, we do hair to prepare for school, things like that. But um, yeah, just kind of doing these things together every day, putting them in that routine so they know what's happening. And if I forget something, they remind me. So um, it, it's amazing to see that, you know, that they love these habits because it's fun. We're doing it together and because they're so attached to me as well, um, which I do find challenging sometimes in my role because then even, you know, going to take a wee break is like, following me, laying on the floor, waiting for me to finish. So it's like, I feel always rushed to like guilty that, you know, I mean, even taking that break um, just to go to the toilet. But um, it's just amazing to see that, that kids love me that much, that um, I can actually um, feel so welcome and be so, such a part, big part of their life. Yeah. Mm, it's beautiful.